Okay, I'm going to make a video on my electric car this morning. I really am excited. I'm more excited because I was kind of worried yesterday because the plug in our garage used to didn't work, but I didn't know it was two of them. And I would say just the top plug doesn't work. So I'm going to take y'all down here and show you. So as you can see, we pulled it over here. Now Albert pulled his over there. Um, see, see it's plugged in right here. It plugs just into an outlet and it has a long cord on it right here. And just put the cord in the car with you whenever you, wherever you go. And it is a level one. There's level one, level two, and level three of electric cars. I was at the level one that you can plug in at home with just a, a 120 outlet, which is 110, 120. The, the, little, the little square box switches it from 110 to 120. And it's like, see, it's like a cell phone charger. See, it's telling me it's charging. Okay? And you plug it in. See, it's plugged in, just like a gas tank. It does not lock. The key is to lock because it's literally just a battery. That's all it is, a battery with seats on it. And the inside is really spacious. There's no gear shift. It's got serious radio. You push the button. So. And I got the seats down right now because I was showing Albert something. And you let the windows down a lot. The only thing that kills the battery is running the heat. So I was watching, uh, Owen's got the moon roof up here, or sunroof, whichever one you want to call it. I was watching a video last night about it. And it said that the only thing that, um, he had already told me the only thing that kills the battery real fast is running the heat. And they suggested that if it's really cold outside, to leave it plugged up and come out and warm your car inside. That way you can run your heat on really, 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 really low. And in town it gets like 150, 170 um, miles to the charge. But on the road it gets 110. And it goes on your mileage. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So This is the room in the back. This is where you keep your charging kit. No water, no oil, no gas, no nothing. And it will go really, really fast. I had it up yesterday to 75. But that was as fast as I wanted to go because we were coming from Milledgeville and I was scared to drive too fast. And Albert was bitching at me, so. Well, that shut good. And the rims are just adorable. So, and this is just for me and Mama to get back and forth to the doctor and stuff in it. And there is a lot of room. The man that sold us sold it to us yesterday. He was um. He is um. He was a big tall man. And to get in the back seat, you pull this here and it lets up. So let me see. I can get in now. I'm in. And my phone's already connected to it. And my phone can be within um. 650 feet of it and if if the car is you don't crank the car up you put the key in the ignition right here and it's on cars crunk up you didn't hear anything it's it's on right now stereo is amazing <laughs> CD player, and then to turn it off, this this locks the car so nobody can steal it. The car is completely locked down now. If they stole it, they'd have to take the whole car. And then the chip in the key, as you can see, is funny made. It's it's like a like a social security number, so to speak. If you can tell, it's. I don't know if you can see that high squiggly. There you go. So, and you do everything. These are the windows on this side, windows on that side. Nice size glove compartment. Plenty of charging stations. I've already got my charger plugged up down here. Um, let me see. 120 volts, that's what it says it's pulling now. And it'll completely charge, but it had, I, we haven't been long plugged it up, but it had 31 miles on it whenever I, um, when me and Albert plugged it up this morning. I got to set date and time. 
and you can see you can see from in here this should from what I understand when it's fully charged and I didn't think to pay attention yesterday because whenever he had it it was dead when we were there he plugged it up time we decided to buy it so and it didn't have a quite a full charge on it when we got home this is the only button I'm not sure of so if someone knows what this button is for because we have we have no idea and it is really deep have no idea what that button is but it is in charging mode and i right now i'm excited about it i mean i'm i'm in love with it it's not a brand new car but it was very well kept and the leather in it is absolutely beautiful so so i'm really excited about it so, and it was only um ten thousand and five hundred so I had actually, yesterday I went to get, my intent was to go to the car dealership to get me a car. But after they ran our credit, our credit was good enough, they said, to trade the Nissan. So Albert didn't know this, so I was going to let Albert pick the car out that he wanted. He wanted a Rubicon Jeep, but I was like, no, think of something more practical, you know. So, so he looked at a dozen cars so when he came up with the one he got and I'll do another video on it because it's kind of it's kind of neat too it doesn't have it doesn't have a key like that it doesn't have that you can turn control it inside the house with the key fob and you can turn it on and turn the heat and air on and all with just the key fob but once you get inside and it it's locked once you crank it up like if you're in the store and it's hot outside and you crank it up you can um you have to put your own, you have to touch it with the key fob and open it. And then you can um, put your foot on the brake and there's a button there to touch it. There's no key. That's kind of neat. So his is a new car. They were, they had used it as a rental. So, and we got it, I think it was 34,000 is what we paid. I think that's how much the car costed itself. So. But I like it. It's really beautiful. Uh, and his has full leather all the way through it too. And uh, so, but I drove his yesterday, and it was it was nice. Leather all the way through. It's real spacious. So it's nice. So, but. That's all I wanted to show you. Hey, Miss Sophia. Hey, Miss Sophia. You eating some grass this morning? All right. Well, the video was actually done on my car because people was asking me questions. And I really, I thought it would be best just to show you instead of answer it. So, but very happy with it. And it's tiny, but there's a lot of room inside. So, I'm excited about it. So, I'm excited. And they said it, um, it only runs about as much of electricity is as a um, five, five cubic foot freezer does a month plugged up. But I can review that later on to tell if it's the truth or not. I was just going by what people said last night online. So, and as you can see, I'm kind of hoarse. So, because Albert slept with the damn fan on last night, and I thought I was going to die. But, but, that's my car. I, I really am excited about it. But like I was saying yesterday, our intent was only to go get a second car, because last week we had a situation where I had to get Mom and the doctor. Albert had to be to work, and I had to get someone to drive me back and forth, and I didn't, I don't like to be beholden to other people, even though, my friends are my friends, and Michael came and got me and drove me around and everything, and I appreciated it, but, you know, and I figured that we could just fix it ourselves. But Albert thought we were going to get me a car. He didn't know he was in, but I knew we were ending up with a car, but he didn't. So, so he was quite surprised. Quite surprised. All right, y'all, I'm through. Bye. I am so... I am so happy. I'm very proud. Albert works very hard for us and does everything he can. I mean, he works really, really hard. 
And I know this, and I love him and appreciate it. Just like his animals appreciate him. All right, y'all. Bye.